That was one of the weirdest things I've ever <laughs> seen, Aaron. <laughs> you, you better win now, boy, after that. I mean, feels like they're trying something new with yeah. Kitty's entrance, and I, I feel like maybe we'll, let's keep trying. <laughs> Throw a couple more ideas out there before know. we settle on one. Well, judging by the eyes, that must be Ruslan Atiyev, <laughs> the maniac, 31 years old, fighting out of Russia, 180 centimeters tall, weighing in at 71 kilograms. Has a professional record of 65 fights, 50 wins, 13 losses, and two draws. He's well experienced. This is his third time fighting here at Thai Fight. He was a max Muay Thai champion in 2015, a super Muay Thai champion in 2016. So he has been around. He has experienced success, just not success here at Thai Fight yet. And it's going to prove very difficult now to find success because he'll be facing Kitty Sojo Dan Rayong, 21 years old from Thailand, from Chantaburi province. 88 fights with 77 victories, 11 losses with zero draws. Last year he was the Thai fight Kad Chiak champion at 70 kilograms. Now moving up to fight at 71. Still blown away. Still, I'm, I'm, I'm like... still thinking about that entrance. <laughs> now there's a video some people will recall called the Techno Viking. Basically just a weird looking dude dancing to trance, dancing to techno and walking down the street. And there was something sinister about it. And I've got to say there was something sinister about those that dance set that we just saw from Kitty. I feel like I've been dosed. It was, it was, That's how yeah. I feel. <laughs> I feel like somebody put something in my water. But let's not judge him on his ring entrance and dancing prowess. Let's judge him on what he does in the ring. What he does in the ring is absolutely mall people. He is the knockout king. I think he's stolen that crown from PTT, to be yeah. honest with you. And just even trying to go the distance with this man is a challenge in itself, let alone dethroning him. Kitty saw Jaw Dan Royong in the black corner. And in the white, the maniac, Ruslan Atiev. However, last time out in Phuket, the championship final, it was a decision fight. Previous to that, all Kitty's fights dating back to 2018 have been first or second round knockouts as he jumps into Ruslan. Clearly a man who has missed being in the ring. Ruslan, no slouch though. Good left hand there, moving in. Looking for that elbow. Can he really put himself in the path of danger? It really is. It's getting clipped right now. I mean, it really is getting clipped, you know. Good elbows, good knees from Ruslan. And a good elbow again. Ruslan trying to make it dirty, trying to make it grindy. Getting flashbacks of PTT. Who also had the penchant for just rushing in head first and got caught a couple of times in his career here. Yeah, stunning right kick there from Kitty. Runs in and gets clipped once again. Got hit again there. Kitty's getting really touched here in the first round. I think he's going to have to rethink this approach. Russell doing a great job of counter striking on the back foot, which is no easy task. Yeah, very calm. And again, this goes back to what we talked about, Ruslan. Loads of experience. Again, Kitty getting clipped on the way back at him. 2016, Ruslan have lost to Pipes Mui. 2018, he lost to Sensatan. Just like he takes a fight on Thai Fight every two years. Kitty on wobbly feet here, clips him with a left elbow. Trying to get those elbows through. So far here in the first round, no question Kitty has taken the worst of these exchanges. Oh, beautiful right elbow that's opened up a gash straight away above the ear. I did notice some blood there. Kitty going in for the kill. Oh, and again, blood screaming from the head of Ruslan. Oh, good right hand though. He's all over him, it's non-stop, all this opening round. Such a dangerous oh, fighter. Man. He's starting to really connect with those 
downward elbows that he's so well known oh, for. Oh my, my goodness! Medic! Medic! Just as we said, those downward elbows were starting to land. One of them just went right through the soul of Ruslan Atiyev. Let's have a look at that again. Oh, good. It's the right elbow. Right on the temple. That's his strike, Aaron. Oh. That's the weapon that he likes to use. I mean, he threw that downward right elbow about 45 times in that first round. 46th time, lights out. That being said, it was pretty. Not at all. He no. had to fight uphill the it whole was, way to get there. It was not pretty. It was done right ugly, to be honest. But he got the job done. Oh, my goodness. Sickening right elbow. Beautifully timed. That elbow was perfectly matched by his entrance. Just, a, just an absolute disgrace, a mess, something very sinister about it. Kitty Sojo Danrayon, welcome back to Thai Fight. Oh, Ruslan is, his head is like a tap right now. There's just so much blood coming from it. Oh. My God. I feel like I just watched an episode of Dexter. Yeah, it's a horror film. And Kitty just did a tremendous job of playing the lead role. <laughs> yeah, that fight from Kitty is, reminds me of what it must be like to be young. <laughs> I don't think he's seen all the fight like that in five years. There it is, your winner in harm's way, but came out on top. Kitty, sore, George.